in the desert. Again. Again, still. And uh, kind of just repeat. They started complaining. No. <laughs> Didn't see this coming. Yeah. There's no fresh fruit here. We don't have what we want to eat. We're sick of this manna. We hate this manna. We're just... We're, do they complain more than the number of times the Death Star was destroyed by the rebels? Yes. <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah. <laughs> it's like only one story here, over and over again. I think they complained for 40 years. So has John. <laughs> 40 years old. I'm efficient. <laughs> anyway, they complained, and they complained, and they complained, and they got on God's nerves. Which, you know, you don't want to get on God's nerves. That's not good for your health. And it was really not good for theirs. God sent, what do you call a bunch of snakes? Is that a swarm of snakes? A passel of snakes? A flock of snakes? A Too bunch many. of snakes? Too many snakes. <laughs> he sent snakes to them. And the snakes began biting people, and the people began to die. And they began to cry out, save us, help us. Some of them even said, we're sorry. God told Moses, okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to make a snake out of bronze. You're going to put it on a stick. Uh, yeah, it was a very common note. You're going to put it up where everyone can see it. And when they get bit by a snake, if they will look to the snake on the stick, they will be healed. Otherwise, they're going to die. And that's what happened. They put the snake on the stick. They got bit. They looked at the snake. They were healed. This was an object lesson God set up for us that when we are bit by the sin, snake of sin, when we are in trouble, when we are sick, when we are distressed, when we have problems, we look to the one who bore our sins on the stick, on the cross, and he will heal us. Uh, is he comparing himself to Amber, the snakes? I think the snakes were just a tool yeah. because... Yeah, when Jesus died, he took our sins onto the cross um, for us and paid that price for us. He became sin. He became sin for us. Much like we had snakes, we put a snake on up. We have sin that's biting us and distressing us. He became sin for us on the cross to pay for our sins so that we don't have to have eternal death in hell. We get to have eternal life in heaven instead. If we will look to him. But we got to look to him. Anyone in the congregation that said, I'm not going to look at a snake on a stick. That's stupid. Which, it does kind of sound kind of stupid. That's stupid. I'm not going to do that. That can't heal me. Well, they died. And much the same today when people say, well, I'm not going to look to Jesus. He can't do anything to help me. He can't save me. He's, he's not God. They're going to die. They're going to go to hell forever, die for all of eternity. But if we will look to Jesus, then we have salvation. We have life. And God set this up for us. Unfortunately, the footnote um, to the story is that at some later date, they begin worshiping the stupid snake. And so one of Israel's um, kings, about 700 years later, uh, destroyed it because they were worshiping this the thing. I, it's, they missed the point that, that it was a symbol for God, it wasn't God. And so it had to be destroyed at some point. And the Bible tells us that story later. Um, but the, the object lesson stands there for us. Whatever is plaguing us, Jesus died to pay the price for that. And we have salvation through him. We have healing through him. Um, because he died to pay for, to heal our souls from our sin. He paid for that. It's taken care of. It's done. How did, they, how did they destroy the snake? I don't remember. It was Hezekiah who did it. Didn't they grind it up and drink it? 
Uh, no, that was the golden calves. They didn't drink the calves. Yeah, they did. They should drink food. That doesn't say anything. We still do it. Uh, if like the most expensive restaurants in the country, you go there and they put actual gold flakes on your food. Presumably for no other reason but to boast that you're rich enough to eat gold. <laughs> gold is a non-toxic metal, um, uh, so it doesn't, as long as you know, we don't eat so much that it crowds out everything else, uh, it actually doesn't hurt us. But uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was the Moses, when he came down off um, Sinai with the table,